Reed Jean Page played Simon Bassett, the mysterious Duke of Hastings, in Bridgerton's first series. But he wasn't the only actor up Be for the role. With my brother to signal our support. Where have you been all night? I did not think you concerned about my wear. Reed Jean Page captivated Netflix audiences with his portrayal of Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings, in Bridgerton, but he wasn't the only actor who was up for the part. The popular Netflix show is based on Julia Quinn's book series, which follows the lives of the eight Bridgerton siblings in Regency-era London. Well, this is all very frightening. Eloise, you mustn't work. You're not frightened, about... too, sister. As in the first book, the first season featured the story of Daphne Bridgerton, Phoebe Dynever, and her blossoming romance with the Duke. Many were upset at the news that Paige, and therefore Simon, won't be returning for Bridgerton season two. However, this makes sense considering the new season will follow the second book in Quinn's series, The Viscount Who Loved Me, which focuses on the story of Anthony Bridgerton, Jonathan Bailey, the eldest sibling. No, the very same. Perhaps we might begin with why you chose to interrupt such an exquisite morning. Because she is already engaged to be married. The Duke has already asked for your hand. I'm not engaged, Mama. Has anyone truly proposed to me? No. The series is also confirmed for seasons three and four. Although the character has a relatively brief role in the series given these details, it was one that was hotly sought by other friend. actors. A friend? Should I not have a friend? <laughs> not bound by the rules of society. <laughs> Please do not tell mother. Prodigal Son and The Walking Dead actor Tom Paine revealed in an interview with People that he also auditioned for the role of Simon. The English actor has a close connection to Bridgerton, seeing as it was filmed in his hometown of Bath. However, Payne didn't make the cut because he wasn't tall enough. You can't walk into the room and look up at anyone, Payne said. It's just not going to work for that kind of character. Though he didn't have what it takes to portray the big heartthrob hunk guy, as he put it, he was still pleased to see familiar parts of his hometown on screen. There is no need to act the jailer. I shall not discover I'm with child within the next hour, shall I? Jonathan Bailey portrays Anthony Bridgerton in the series and will be the main character in the second season, but he also originally auditioned to play Simon. Though he read for the Duke's part, it wasn't until he had a meeting with creator Chris Van Duesen and the production team that he was considered to play Anthony instead. During that meeting, the group had some discussions about family and about men and women in society, along with some of their personal life experiences. In light of that, Van Duesen thought that Bailey was better suited for a different part. According to an interview with Oprah Daly, Bailey revealed that the team said to him, have you thought about Anthony? We're gonna send you some scripts to read because we think you might be an Anthony. Provided ample instruction, I shall contact the solicitor and safeguard our system. An additional down. task, in the top drawer of my desk you shall find the name of a lady. If I die, you must ensure she is provided for, do you swear? Benedict, do you swear? Clearly the switch was made and Bailey will have his main character moment in the next season. This also wasn't the first instance for Bridgerton in which an actor or actress ended up with a different role. Golda Rocheville played Queen Charlotte, though she first auditioned to play Lady Danbury, Simon's godmother. Oh, I sound again. Might I remind you that this boy is to be the next Duke of Hastings, and that he requires whatever reserves of fatherly nature reside in that frigid heart of yours. In the end, the role of Lady Danbury went to Adjoa Ando. Amelia was ill. Several years ago. She came to my room about a fortnight ago.